what is up guys vector designs here with another game tutorial now before i get started with this tutorial i'm going to be changing the tutorials from saturdays to sundays i'm doing this because i i have way too many activities um going on on saturdays and i just don't have the time to get the uh tutorial out there for you guys so let's get started today's um tutorial is going to be another text effect and it's going to be Electro. So let's jump right in to this. So I'm going to hide all these layers and first we'll start off with the text. So the font that I'm going to be using is a font called Fighting Spirit. You know what? Again, want a high size and we're going to be choosing a neon color. This is the HTML notation if you want the exact color that I'm using. Press OK. And we're go I'm just going to write Electro. Make that bigger. And what you're going to do is you want to adjust the letter space and make this closer together. I'd say about 17 to 20. Negative 17 to 20. And now we're going to start off with the outline. So, I'll fit to selection this, select grow, and we're going to be growing this by 6 pixels. Create a new layer, and then we're going to fill it in with a dark green color. This is the one I'm using. Remember to fill whole selection. Alright, bring that underneath, and we have the outline. The next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to import a texture. This texture is easily found if you just type in Google Textures. And I'm going to copy that. Now, what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to duplicate this, uh, I'd say about four to five times. So there, we got four copies. And we're going to alpha to selection the actual font. So the yellow part. And we're going to go to each, each texture. And I'm going to cut and paste. Now we can get rid of the original. And we'll do the next one. So, alpha to selection. Go to the next one. Move it over. I'm going to rotate it. As so. I'll have to selection it, then once again, just cut, whoops, cut, and paste. And now do this for the rest of them. Rotate it different ways so that it's not always the same. Move it over. Make it larger if you need to. And do the same thing. Now the end result should look something a little bit like this. you have that done, change all of them to screen. Now that you have that, you have the little stroke effects. You can delete these lists, you can hide these layers, and go merge 
visible layers. Now the next step that you're going to be doing is you're going to colorize. So go to colors, colorize. Sorry guys, I forgot one important step. You're going to be colorizing these before you merge them. So go to each one, colorize. Leave it as it is, the normal, um, the ones that were right there. And you're just going to lower the saturation. Just to your liking, and maybe tone down the lightness. Press OK. And just do that to each one. It's fine if it's different. Because lightning is not always the same. But you want it to be similar. Just experiment to your liking. And there we go. So now I'm going to merge visible layers. And you got this cool bluish effect. Now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in some electricity. The electricity that I'm using can be found in Fluid Design's uh, 10K graphics pack. I will leave the link in the description below. So, this is what it looks like, and you're just going to copy the one that you want. Copy, and paste it. Lower the size of it. And remember to put it on screen. That will get rid of the black. Put this underneath the text. Or you can put it in between the text and the outline. I, but I like it below everything. Put it in different spots. And there you go, the electric font, the electric, electro, text effect. So, uh, leave your link in the description below, I mean, leave your, uh, suggestion in the description below, and, uh, look forward to next week's tutorial. Bye, guys.